Uh, I play a character named Harley, and uh, he's a very driven, hardworking guy, very successful at a young age. He's a billionaire, internet, internet billionaire, and uh, he's very driven, and uh, he, he becomes obsessed with some things. You know, it's kind of his personality to kind of be obsessed and goal-driven, and he kind of shows uh, a more darker, destructive side along with that obsession. So uh, that's kind of him in a nutshell. He's a bit of a handful. Oh man, you read that kind of character on the, in a script and, and on the page and it's just like for an actor, it's almost like a dream come true to get a chance <coughs> to, to play a character with so many layers and you know, you, you see him at, in one part of the film and he's so good to be, too good to be true and then you see him in another part of the film and he's like psychotic and it's like just to be able to take that ride with a character and, and bring all that to life is, is really like an actor's dream come true. Um, I play a character, her name is Melinda and she is a very troubled <laughs> young lady. She's, you know, running from a, an insane past. You know, she's had a lot of trouble in relationships that's caused her to not only doubt herself, but run from herself. And, you know, she was a challenge to play because she, again, like the Harley character, she has a lot of different layers and you know, it's a roller coaster, you know, to, to play someone with so many different colors and, you know, versatility. And, but I was excited about it because I had never played someone like her before and I felt like the challenge was needed and it was something that I really wanted to do to see if I could even do it, you know? Uh, I play the role of Bryce, who's a small town guy, uh, who's a hard worker. He's on his way to becoming a pharmacist. Uh, he marries his his childhood sweetheart, played by Journey. Uh, he along the way he's become comfortable in his relationship, and he doesn't even know it. I mean, this is the life he knows. He he thinks everything is going great. You know, um, his wife kind of feels neglected. You know, and and along comes this guy who just changes everything for it. Shows her a new life and you know you deal with a man who's watching his relationship fall apart you know and he's fighting to to keep that relationship intact mm -hmm. um, so yeah that that's Bryce he's he's a nice guy a little too nice mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so. well I always wanted to work with him just from the movies that he's made in the past and you know he always seemed like a nice guy I had met him um, at an event and I just I was like wow this he's so humble and down to earth I would love to you know just see what it's like to you know work with him and you know I, I just wanted to and you know I prayed about it and got the call thought somebody was playing on my phone but it was him well I'm his his track record is is pretty much the same as far as his movies are so powerful and mm -hmm. they speak directly to the people that that, that are watching them, you know, someone somewhere can always identify with some of his characters. Like I think people will look at this movie, for example, and see some see themselves in Bryce, or see themselves in Melinda, or see themselves in Judith, or see a little bit of themselves in Harley. And I think that he's been able to do that so well. And I I think that this is another example of that. So when reading this script, it was like, man, it's an opportunity to be a part of a, a movie that's going to send such a powerful message, and yet connect with so many people. So you know, it's. It was uh, uh, very intriguing, you know, immediately. Mm. I think it was a lot of moments like that. It's kind of hard to to pick one, for me, one particular moment. I mean, honestly, I was just so happy to be there and be in the type of company that I was in that, you know, all of it was was great for me, honestly. Yeah, I think it was... It was fun bouncing off each other. Uh, just I love working with you, by the way. Like, too. likewise. Like, I mean, <laughs> just just uh, playing with our characters and discovering new things in the scene mm -hmm. um, was really amazing. I mean, th this is a very talented cast from from Robbie to Brandy to Journey to Renee. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, Renee. It, it, okay. she she was so needed in this because <laughs> it was between her and Kim. It, this movie is so heavy right. and it's so deep and it's so emotional and, and just to have their characters to to lighten up right. certain situations. It, it was very much so needed. Yeah. You know, well, it was challenging to, to kind of tap into those those darker moments for Harley because 
I'm nothing like him. I mean, literally nothing like him. And it, it was, it was, it was kind of an interesting thing to try to connect to something, to to where I can make this character make sense and make him believable and 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 find the real truth within him. And basically, I just kind of connected to his need for love and 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 understanding and affection and and just saw that in myself. But he just displays it in such a more like toxic and destructive kind of way. So to speak to that question, it was just challenging to, to, to go from being so nice and so sweet in one moment to being this very destructive, toxic, almost evil kind of guy in the next moment. So it was it was kind of walking that fine line was always challenging, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I, I hope this film brings about conversation. Um, I, I hope that, you know, it allows people to, it, it, it serves as a reminder that you know the the choices that you make, they they affect everyone. You know what I mean. Uh, one bad decision can change the rest of your life, mm -hmm. um, yeah. not just for yourself, but for your family, for your friends, everyone who's involved with you. Um, it shows you that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Sometimes you just have to water your own grass and nurture that, and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. right. Same thing. I don't think. I could say any better than that. Yeah, you know, it's about taking care of home and loving the ones you're with, and it's it's about not 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 being led astray by just the lure of something that seems better. Because, like Lance said, it's like the grass is not always greener over there, and once you get in that grass, you might find out that there's some snakes over there. Right. You know, so it's uh, it's, it's a strong message. I think people are really going to be affected by. It. I think so, for sure. I mean, it, it, when when you have a movie that that has such an attractive cast, first of all, and very you know talented, and then you add the element of uh, you know some sex and some some violence and you know love, it's just like it's a killer combination, especially with an amazing message out of all of that. Mm -hmm. So definitely.